Hi, Soul Family. Okay. I am completely disorganized. <laughs> so funny. I just realized um, I hit play and then I realized I have literally no cards out. <laughs> oh my God. So, getting my cards out, we are going to do a general love reading for the collective. The energies are going crazy, my loves. Oh, son of a biscuit. All right. Um, so I have my messages of love oracle, uh, my romance angels, archangel power tarot cards, my who deck, and my animal spirit deck. I need to go grab my rider weight, my good old rider weight. Um, and we're gonna get started. So let me pause. Y'all, I paused it at one one zero. You cannot make up alignment. You can't. All right. So this is gonna be a general love reading. So whatever comes out will come out. Um, it's a general love reading, so it's not going to resonate with everyone. It's going to resonate with someone, though. Mul maybe multiple someones. It's not a twin soul reading. It's just a general love reading. You guys know me. If twin soul energy comes out, I will for sure let you know. Um, as of right now, you know what? I'm going to start with the Romance Angels. We're going to dive right the hell in, dude. I want to know what the energy is like. All right, so we're doing it like this because I'm in my pajamas and I, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not always camera ready. You know what I'm saying? I'm in my pajamas. I wasn't feeling like being on camera. So this is how we're doing it today. All right. For those who are watching, if you can see a little bit of smoke, I have incense burning. It is cinnamon, which is known to draw in love. So we are doing a love reading. I found it fitting. Oops, I got to put this down. Shout out to my soul sister, Lindsay, who sent me this beautiful um, affirmation handwritten little cards that she sent me to remind me of my magic all right what do we have for the collective what do they need to know spirit you told me to work so let's get it all right new love a new person has stirred your romantic feelings Ooh we some of y'all Ooh, diving in diving in new things new love new energy about damn time. Let's get rid of this stagnant shit, right? Fuck it all. Look at that. We have new love. We have getting to know each other. You cannot make it up. Look. Boom. New love. Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. <laughs> loving it love 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 oh shit i love this new energy i love it 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 Ooh. <laughs> i love it so much i had to break out in some cameo cabello oh loving it all right one more card spirit one more card damn don't mind my nails. I need a fill. Not a fill. I need another manicure. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. All right. So per law of attraction, that is exactly what you are doing. You have decided to let go of your past so that you can let in some new love. Some of your exes, ex energies, they're not going to be loving it. They're not going to be loving it. But, you know, it's new love. 
someone else has caught your eye, my beautiful souls, and you're flying into this energy of getting to know someone. Um, you have stayed optimistic about your love life, even when spirit has decided to rip people out of your life, when, you know, spirit has decided to say, no, not that one, even when you were set on that one, right? Spirit said, absolutely not. We're going to make sure that you get what you deserve. And so you continue to stay open hearted and vulnerable and allowed yourself to be seen and felt and therefore that optimism has opened you up to a new connection so we are going to i'm so proud of you guys um let's let's yeah let's dive into the let's do the Let's do the Archangel, what is this damn deck called? Archangel Power Tale. So what else do we need to know about this connection and about this new person, Spirit? Thank you for allowing me to be the clearest channel for source messages. And I welcome Archangel Michael to help protect this space for us as we read. And... I welcome all of you as well to my sacred space of love and healing where we dive deep into this subconscious drives of our love lives to heal, learn, and grow and master together the art of loving all right, justice, wow. It says someone here, hold on, let me pull some more cards. Wow, so you're definitely getting what you deserve. It says fighting for justice and equality. Things are going in your favor, don't give up. So absolutely, I feel like you're definitely not giving up on your love life. You know, you may have taken a few setbacks in the love department, but you were like, I'm okay with that. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay with these love lessons because I have just learned how to be my greatest self through all of these failed love missions, lessons, right? So spirit has helped you, not hindered you with these experiences, my beautiful souls. <clears throat> it says, time for a celebration. Wow, you're being rewarded for your hard work. And you're releasing yourself from burden, burden, burden. <laughs> I can't talk, this always happens. Releasing yourself from burdensome situations. So the minute that you let go of that old baggage of holding on to someone who was not holding on to you, you're getting what you deserve. The scales of justice are being evened out and there is that new connection more suited to you. Okay, you realize how delicious you are, <laughs> you beautiful soul. And it's paying off. It literally says, rewarded for your hard work. So because you decided to stay optimistic and because you didn't allow those love lessons to continuously break your heart, instead you took it as, okay, well, that's just not for me. You've seen it as a beautiful learning lesson. Now you're being rewarded for your patience, for your openness, for your willingness to learn and to grow. See, it says you sought out other possibilities. You looked for the magic in your life and you were aware of your own emotions and you learned how to be present and centered. You learned how to trust your gut. 
Wow. Yup. You learned how to let go of what no longer served you. Six of Michael. So this is Six of Swords. The light at the end of the tunnel. Breathe a sigh of relief and make new plans. Wow. Some of you are going to be relocating or traveling, it says. Relocation or travel. So this new connection might be further away from you. Some of you are going to be traveling to see a new person, this new connection. So you let go of this energy of the past, of this thing that you thought it was that you wanted and needed. And spirit said, no, that's not for you. So you moved on. You were loyal. There's a dog here, which shows me you were extremely loyal to someone or something and they didn't deserve that energy did they so now you're finally leaving on that ship you're like i'm done i'm out of here two more cards in the step spirit what else do we need to know about this connection this person might live overseas or there might be an ocean or a body of water between you king of michael wow it says, let me read this. Hold on. So it looks like this new connection, it says King of Michael, which is King of Swords, principled, rational, ambitious, and respected. This new connection, um, it doesn't matter, masculine or feminine. This person is very controlled. They know how to control their emotions, right? They're very ambitious. They might have like a really respectable position. Um, they do something which commands respect from other people, right? They have principles. They're very moral. Um, You're going to want to use your intuition. I feel like when this connection comes in, um, a lot of people are going to be not approving of the connection for some reason or another. And you're going to have to use your own judgment and perspective on this connection. Okay. Um, this card says to stay in your integrity. So... You know, there's something about this connection that people might look down on and say, oh, this is not morally right. Maybe there's an age gap. Maybe you guys come from different backgrounds. Maybe you're a different race. I don't know. It's going to be different for all of you. But for some reason, people are going to say this is not, you know, for you. But you know deep in your heart that it is for you. Okay. So you're just going to need to focus Block out the energy of what other people are saying and focus on what you feel deep in your gut. Male or female, it doesn't matter. When this connection comes in, that's what I'm feeling very strongly. It says, the situation calls for honest and open communication. Okay. So this person, this new connection, right? They're going to be very open and honest with you. And for some of you, you're not used to that open and honest communication right you're used to the wishy-washy people that come in that are aren't sure about you that make you feel less than the ones that you know make you second guess yourself cause confusion and chaos not this one this person is going to equal your energy you're both going to have open and honest communication with each other so no matter what anyone else says, you guys are going to be strong in this connection. Last card from this deck, please, Spirit. Ace of Ariel. Ooh, luck is on your side. Wow. It says new resources of money, time, or support, a change in job, or a promotion. Okay, so here's what's happening in this connection. This connection is going to also open some more doors for you, Okay. Financial wise, um, luck wise, it's like the minute that you and this person connect, 
new doors start opening for both of you. It's like there's something about your field of love is what I'm hearing. Your field of love, which is opening up way more opportunities for both of you. So, for example, this could be, you know, someone offering you um, some kind of collaborative effort. Like maybe this person will come to you for a a job offer or you know what I mean? Like not a job offer, but like they'll come to you and say, hey, I want to collaborate and work with you on this. Maybe you guys will work together in like a community setting for like the community, something along those lines. They're going to approach you with something in regards to like working together. And I feel like from there, it's going to sort of grow. And this person is going to give you an equal amount of time. Like you guys are both going to crave that time together, okay? They're not going to leave you second guessing. This isn't going to be someone who's going to be like, hey, you know, we should go have coffee. And then they're going to call you an hour before and be like, oh, well, something came up. I can't make it. They're going to be more eager to see you and spend time with you even than you are, okay? That's what this feels like. They're going to be very supportive. This is just what you need. Okay. This is just what you guys need. All right. You or this person might be financially well off as well. Look, we got, there is a bag of money and there's a female on there. So I don't know. Take it out. It resonates. You know, this person, if you're, a, if you're a male, um, Maybe she's got, maybe she makes her own money um, as she should. And we got King of Michael and Six of Michael. So there's the card of letting go of the past. This is the card of, um, you know, someone with that beautiful stoic energy. Uh, and, you know, Ace of Ariel. Okay, so we're done with that deck. Um What should we do now? Um, I think I gotta get those cards down. Whoop. We are going to la 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 do the messages of love oracle deck and see what comes out. And then we'll move on to probably the Light Seer's Tarot. We'll do the Animal Spirit deck to let you know. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull an Animal Spirit card. So basically when you start seeing this animal is when you should prepare yourself for this new connection to come in, okay? That's how we're going to roll this one today. And then I will end the reading with the Who deck and... A charm for you guys. All right. So what do we got from the Messages of Love Oracle deck? What else do they need to know about this new connection? Confusion. I feel unclear about where we stand. soul tie I always feel connected to you so this person this new person that's coming in there's a really strong soul tie they might not know how to approach you this could be a situation where like maybe you guys are around each other all the time Maybe you spend time together. Maybe you're friends. Maybe you're, you know, you, like I said, you do community work together. Maybe you see each other every day somewhere. And they feel this really strong soul connection with you. <clears throat> but they're not sure how you feel. And it leaves them feeling really confused. 
and they don't know how to approach. They don't know if you feel the same way. I'm afraid it's too late to take action. So this person has already pondered how this connection is going to move forward. <clears throat> they may feel like they're on a space. I need more time to think. See, they're really patient and they are pondering their approach. They don't want this connection to sour. Two more spirit, please. Actually, let's do three. So if this person is not coming towards you yet, male or female, it doesn't matter. It's because they're pondering their next move. They're holding their cards in their hand, trying to figure out which card to play. They're figuring their next chess move. <laughs> All right, we have shadow side. You made me realize my flaws. So we have soul tie and shadow side. You made me realize my flaws. So you shined light on things um, inside of them, which with the soul tie card <clears throat> and the shadow side, it feels very twin flamey, twin solely. I'm not going to say that it is. I'm just saying you guys have had past lives together. It's a spiritual connection. All right. So immediately when they met you, it's like all of a sudden they started to see things about themselves that they never saw before. You know, you might trigger them in certain ways. You make them feel a certain way. You might make them feel inadequate. They might see you as someone and kind of put you on a pedestal a little bit, which makes them feel some type of way, right? That's why they don't know how to build this connection, right? That's why they're hesitating, all right? Values, we have too many differences. So you guys might have things which are different like for example they might be religious they might be you know christian and you might be a witch or something like that you know what i mean or vice versa maybe um they eat meat you're a vegetarian i don't know you know there's just lots of things so you're not their normal usual type and they're questioning it. They're like, why am I attracted to this person who's nothing like me, right? So surfacely, it might seem like you guys have nothing in common, but I'm, I'm willing to bet stock and money on it that you guys have way more in common than you think. Upon closer inspection... I feel like there is going to be some deep rooted things that you guys will discover when you get to know each other, that there are some things that are very much intertwined and you will see how your life paths have brought you to where you are, right? Reflection, being away from you has allowed me to gain clarity. So for some of you, you know, there might have been a period where you guys met or, you know, maybe you spent a lot of time together and all of a sudden this person has stepped back for a breather. And the reason being, they needed that space. They were feeling your values were too different. They felt soul connected to you, yet there was things about the connection which triggered them. So they took a step back, right? 
they had to see, they had to analyze, why am I attracted to this person? This person is not my type. Why do I feel like this with this person? I've never felt like this before. They don't understand what's happening. So for some of you, it might have started out really fast and furious, and then all of a sudden, it's, there's nothing, right? So for example, if you guys are friends, you have a friendship. You guys may have spent like, you know, like almost every day together for like a week. And then all of a sudden, it's just like nothing. There's silence. And you're like, what the hell? What the hell? Right? And it's because this person was like, wow, like they didn't expect these feelings, right? Male or female, the energy doesn't matter, right? Someone took a step back. All right, so we're going to pull the spirit animal card. When you see this spirit animal card, for those of you that have not met this person yet, when you start seeing this animal, that's how you'll know that this person is coming into your life. For those of you that have already know who this person is, you have a person in mind, you're watching this reading because you felt drawn in to this message, right? This is also for you. If you see this animal, that means you're going to go into contact again with this person. Okay, on the way back. All right, what, are, what do we got spirit for them? Hmm? What is the animal? Woo, flew out. Spider. <laughs> spider. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. All right, protection, aid, wisdom. Okay. This person might feel extremely protective of you as well. Male or female, doesn't matter. Okay. They feel an intellectual connection with you. They feel like you're very wise. They feel connected and in not just, it's not just like a physical attraction. There's a whole body, mind, soul they are attracted to your body. Fuck yeah, they are. They're also attracted to your mind, which might disturb them a bit. Maybe they're not used to being attracted to to your to someone's mind. Like for a female, she might just be used to like digging on, you know, the dangling, <laughs> the penis. And then all of a sudden, she's like intrigued by your mind and she's like, "Wow." This is way deeper than I initially thought it was going to be. Like, and for a masculine, maybe he's just used to like chasing the booty, right? All of a sudden he meets you and he's like, holy shit. Like she's intelligent. She speaks well. She's wise. She gives good advice. And that sets his soul on fire. So not only does he want to plow you, <laughs> but he also wants to like sit up all night with you and talk and pick your brain and discuss things about life he wants to know what you think about things right all right let's get some character traits of this person some possible character traits and we're going to go on to the light seers tarot and end with that and we'll pull a charm and be done all right, so what else do we need to know? Can we get some possible character traits? I'll get multiple cards out to reach as many people as I can because I know a lot of people might tune into this reading. I don't know how many. Who knows? All right, what do we got, Spirit? Let's get... Seven cards. One. Two. This incense is done, y'all. Three. Four. And shout out to V Love and Tarot. She, um... I bought this deck off of her Etsy shop. I absolutely love her channel. So go check her out. It's called V Love and Tarot. 
She also has an Etsy shop where she sells her beautiful ducks. So go show her some love. Maybe purchase a deck. Seven, that's seven. All right, so the first card we have is Performing Arts. So this person might be an actor, an actress. They might um, perform somehow. They might be a musician. They might, like this person on the card is playing the violin. They might work at an orc, you know, as a musician in an orchestra. They might um, play, you know, an instrument, saxophone, tuba. I mean, whatever. Um, the clarinet, I, I don't know. Guitar. There are so many possibilities here, guys. Um, they could be a thespian. I said thespian. Yes, thespian, which is another word for an actor, actress. They might, you know, be... Um, you know, part of the like drama, um, by drama, I mean like acting, not like drama queen or king. Yeah, they might be a drama king or queen too. I don't know. Um, and I said thespian, not lesbian. <laughs> I don't know. It could be lesbian too. Who knows? <laughs> lesbian. Um, but they are in the, you know, they're, they perform. Okay. All right. We have full body. So a curvilicious queen. Or king. I mean, I feel like it, it could be a feminine, though, because it, there's a feminine on the card. So I feel like for the performing art, that it's probably a masculine who is a performer, an actor. For the full body, it's probably a curvy queen. Um, you know, whatever. 50s or older. So don't freak out, all you youngins, and be like, oh, my God, my person is so old. He's grandpa. This could just mean your person is an old soul. I mean, most of us are. Most of us are not new souls just, you know, dr thrown up in the mix. You know what I'm saying? Like, we are seasoned. We've done this reincarnation billions of times. So we come here to teach. We come here to learn. We come here to, you know, do what we're doing. Like, to to teach you guys, to guide you guys to love you guys, to grow with you guys, okay? So they're probably an old soul. For some of you, it could they could be a little bit older than you. I mean, is that would that be so bad? I'm going to be 44 this year in July. <laughs> so July 28th is my birthday. We have spiritual. Yes. So, you know, they're probably not religious. They're probably spiritual. They meditate. They play with tarot cards. They play with runes. They do yoga. They namaste. <laughs> uh, they're grounded. They're centered. They're present. You know, they're filled with love. All right. So we have beauty and fashion. Ooh, we. So, you know, your feminine, she's sexy. She, she beauty. All right. She has a great sense of fashion. Um, you know, whether she's literally a fashionista or not, whether she dresses like this or not, she has a sense of style that is unlike anyone else's. She knows she's beautiful. She's queen status, right? She knows her worth, right? Right? She has a sense of style that is unmatched. Whether she's a comfort queen, whether she's a slay all day, it doesn't matter. She has beauty in and out, right? Look, we have a water sign. So the water signs are Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Okay, take that how it resonates. It's self-explanatory. We don't need to go into all that. And then we have sexual. So there's a very heavy energy, just so you know, of like um, Scorpio energy. Scorpios are known for being very sexual. They're also a water sign. They're also very loyal. So it would make sense, you know, the loyalty card came out, right? So it doesn't have to be a water sign they might have water in their chart 
All right, so we are going to dive again into the Light Seers Tarot about this connection. We're going to pull, let's see. We're going to pull, let's do 10 cards and then we'll pull a charm and be done. All right, what else do we need to know about this beautiful new con connection for those who are watching this reading? All right, I knew it. I knew a message had to come out. I need to split these damn cards up because my hands are far too small to be shuffling this big ass deck. I'm hitting my damn camera and stuff because I cannot shuffle. My hands are too tiny, y'all. <clears throat> I'm messing up cards and stuff. Look at my chariot card. That's my Cancerian card. I just messed it up. <laughs> I accidentally folded the corner of it. That might be significant for some of you. Don't know. For some of you, a cancer messed you up. <laughs> oh, jeez. Or you might be a cancer who's messed up. Who knows? Now, I'm talking about the sign cancer. Like, maybe, maybe you were dealing with a cancer sign and they fucked you up. Who knows? Maybe they broke your heart. Who knows? starting to get hot in here all right so we're gonna pull 10 cards give me 10 cards about this connection spirit and then we are going to call it a reading all right what do we got 10 cards about this connection one two got really hot in here all of a sudden like I just want to put my fan on all of a sudden I was so cold earlier it's really weird you guys for, for some of you this is telling me like this person yo y'all you get this person heated up they're really desiring you like they might physically be really attracted to your body But it's not just a physical connection. There's something else there. Which draws them in. Particularly to you and your energy. Ooh, these cards are flying the fuck out, dude. Crazy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Alright, two more, please, for Thank you for this beautiful reading. All right, guys. I'm laying them out. I want to be done, though, because it's getting way too hot in here. Ooh, I wanted to grab one and two came out, so I guess we're going to take them both. All right, let me turn this fan on low at least. Ooh. <laughs> okay. So, let's see. First card, two of wands. We have ten of cups. Oh, wow. Someone made a choice to be happy. They were just like, I'm done. I'm done. They made a choice. They were like, you know what? Um, I'm not happy right now. They weren't happy in whatever connection they were in before, right? It might have been, I don't know if it was a deep connection. I don't know if it was like a connection... Like a marriage, you know, divorce, whatever. They were like, you know what? I'm not happy with my love life and the way it's going. So they made a decision to be happy. And it was quite simple. And because of that, look, we got nine of pentacles, ten of wands. Wow. So it's like the minute this person, I don't know, it, it feels like your energy. The minute you decided to let go and you chose this path, it's like, do I have the path of like sitting here waiting for something to happen with someone or do I move forward and be happy, right? They made that choice to move forward. They were like, I'm done. I'm letting go of a connection. And they made a choice to be happy, period, no matter what. And boom, there we got the nine of pentacles. All of a sudden things are shifting. 
They're in this abundance mindset. Luck is changing. There they go, letting go of these burdens. Letting the fire of the passion of what drives them, dry, let, they're letting that drive them instead of like this fear, this old stagnant energy, this old holding on to things that are not for them, right? Look, waiting for the ships to come in and watching, knowing that they're on the way and there's that fresh start. Look. This person, you, you, I keep saying this person, but it's you, you surrendered, you trusted, you took that leap, you said, I surrender. I will throw my hands up and surrender. There will be no white flag above my door. I'm in love and always will be. Boom, just like that right? Surrendered into the water, falling, free falling, flowing, dived right into the water, holding her inner peace, right? She's got a stick. She's got a crystal. She dove right in. No fear into the emotions. She trusted herself. He or she, there's a feminine on here, but you know what I'm saying? Take it out. Resonates. There's a lot of feminine energy here. Look. Trusted and surrendered. Let go of the things which were bringing her sadness. Right? She buried it. You buried it. You buried it. You took that leap of faith. You jumped. You free falled. You had a trust fall. Like Pink says. You know the song by Pink, Trust Fall? It's a trust fall, baby. You dove right in that water. You said, okay, I'm falling. I'm trusting you, universe. I'm burying all of this old grief and energy. I'm done. And look, all of these old cups. She's not even looking at these cups. You're not looking at these cups. You're like, I'm done. Bye-bye, cups. Say it, say, sayonara burying this old grief and pain and there is that cup with the freaking rainbows in it trusting that what's coming is better right so four of cups there's this there it is the rainbow again the rainbow coming out of the cup look at that you were tired of waiting. Look at this energy of waiting. Waiting, waiting. Nothing is happening. You waited for someone. They didn't come. What happened? But you never gave up hope. That's why your rainbow is coming. So you focused on yourself. You focused on learning about yourself. Right? Right? Two birds, by the way, is a symbol, a twin flame symbol, actually. Um, anytime you see birds in pairs, it's funny, I've been seeing birds in pairs everywhere I go. And I mean crazy birds. Like, I've seen two falcons together. I've seen two, like, what are those big, huge birds, cranes or something? Cranes, hurons. Two of them flying together. Like, what are the chances, Right. Those are messages directly from spirit, guys. There's, there, there are no coincidences or accidents, right? This is also the energy of someone watching you. It's possible that the person you waited for is watching you. They don't realize it's too late. Look, yes, we got two energies of watching. Page of Wands, Page of Swords. Pages are about watchers and spires. We know that. It's ABC's one, two, threes of tarot 101, right? Whatever the case, you're excited about this new love. You're not looking back. She's not looking back at all. She's looking up. She's like, uh, nowhere to go but up from now, right? When you hit rock bottom, what? What's next? There's nowhere to go but up, right? Ace of Pentacles, look at that. 
It's a new beginning. We got a, a bunch of cards of new beginnings. Look at this. The Fool. Jumping in. A new start. A fresh start in love. One suited to your growth. There's the roots. If your roots run deep, baby. Right? What do they say? If your roots run deep, then you can't be shooketh. Right? This is someone offering you growth. They want to grow with you. Look, there's the two plants. They're growing together and they share one root. Look at that. Oh my God. I'm so glad that I chose to do this reading. This is just what the collective needs. Okay, so we are going to draw a charm for everyone. And we're going to complete this reading. For those of you that are waiting on my Twin Flame class, it's a coming. I promise you. All right, where? I need to get what my, okay, the charm are. All right, two guys. Let's pull, let's pull some charms. Okay, whoa, we're not going to pull that many. Let's see. Um, all right, that is not a fucking charm. Okay, so we have the owl, the hand, the lips, and the peanut. Let's read what they say. All right, so the owl came out first. It says, watching. Oh, boom. Just when Spirit said, you're good at your job, you're good at your job, Nance. Look at that. I am good at my job. Watching. Someone watching you. Someone spying on you. I don't know if it's your new love interest or, you know, the old. The old. We don't care about the old, though, right? We are only looking forward to the new. It's not our fault that they messed up the connection, right? It's not your fault. Okay. So, we have the hand. Hand came out next, right? So, where's the hand? I have to find the hand. I hope you guys remember about the charms. So I have all these charms and I decided to talk with my spirit guides and get a bunch of regular messages and love messages with these charms to see what they mean. And they gave me answers. So my spirit guides are awesome. Shout out to my beautiful spirit team. All right. Text message or a message. I told you. Someone's coming with a message. They're going to be like, hi, <laughs> hi, boo, I'm in love with you. <laughs> I don't know if it's new or old. Let's hope for new because if, if the old comes in, y'all just block them, ignore them. Please don't go back there. Please don't. And then we got the lips, the lips. What is the lips? Kissing or to be kissed. Ooh, look at that. So for those of you that love the lip action. It's coming. Claim that. This person is fascinated by your lips. Male or female, it doesn't matter. They want some lip service, meaning they want to plant some lip. Lips on your lips. Lips. The peanuts. Crazy about you. I told you. This new person. Crazy. It says crazy about you. Holy shit. And it also says awakening. So you may have awakened this person and not even meant to. Or they awakened you. Boom. Activating the shit out of each other. They're crazy about you. Because they're crazy for you. Touch me once and you know it's true. I never wanted anyone like this. It's all brand new. You can feel it in my kiss. I'm crazy for you. Crazy for you. All right. Okay, y'all. I was just messing around. But for real. <laughs> y'all know I can sing. I have some songs that I've sang with the Mr. John Benny. Super talented Mr. John Benny. <laughs> so, but I was just fucking around there. Um. Yeah, that's, we're done with the reading. The reading's done. I love you guys so much. All right. Um, I have a tip jar if you want to tip me. I also have a Patreon page if you want to join to support me. It's $5.99 a month. 
I mean, it's not going to break your pockets. I promise you. I also have everything linked down below if you want to purchase a reading with me. I love you guys. I'm also working at the Gemstone Hideaway Hut in Lansing. If you want to get a face-to-face -face reading with your girl, I love you so fiercely. All right, bye.